Outside Your Window came about because my UK editor said, we want you to write a book about children's first experiences of the natural world. So it's got to be non-fiction and it's got to have lots of information in it. So I went away and thought about it. And I thought about the nature of children's very first experiences of the outdoors, of the very basic things like kicking through leaves, like wind blowing in your face. And I talked to a lot of my friends, and in fact, I emailed people in, my, in Candlewick um, about their very first experiences in the natural world, and I collected them all together. And what I realized was, was that when you're a very, very small child, your experience isn't compartmentalized into mental and physical experience. It's all one. You experience everything as a whole human being. And everything is in big close-up. So I began to wiggle myself back down into my four-year-old being. Now, that isn't, that isn't much of a stretch for me, because actually, although I'm quite old on the outside, I'm eight on the inside. So I didn't have to go back too many years to remember all those very, very first things, all those very first pieces of very basic information. Now, things that don't seem like information to grown-ups, because we've lived with them for a long time, things like, you know, you put your foot into wet sand, and it leaves an impression now, that's not news for us, but when you're three, that's fantastic. You put your foot into wet sand, and an adult puts their foot next to it, and it's bigger. So I knew that that was the nature of the information that I was dealing with in this book. And the only way to deal with that information that's factual, information that comes to your head, but also to your heart and to your body all at once is to handle it in a poetic form, which is why Outside Your Window is a collection of poems and prose poems. What I wanted to do was to reinforce children's experience, to encourage them to seek those experiences, but also, crucially, to remind grown-ups who are reading this book with their little kids of how wonderful that stuff was when they were small. And to make sure that they take their children outside and go and kick through leaves and poke around in tide pools and make footprints in the sand and feel the wind in their face and the rain in their hair. Um, because that's part of what makes us human beings. <laughs>